Hi everyone, my name's Steph Adams and I'm the Training and Engagement Manager for P&O Cruises. Today we're going to explore how you can make your Caribbean escape on Arvia. We'll look at why the ship is known as the Sunshine Ship and look at the destinations that she will be heading to in more depth. Plus, we'll have a look at some of the great shore experiences that help our guests immerse themselves in this beautiful region. Now, for her winter 2022 into 23 season, Avia heads to the Caribbean for an adventure like no other. With her retractable sky dome and bright light spaces, she's designed to make the sea the star and let the sun shine in. Think swim up bars, infinity pools, alfresco chill outs and gazing upon sparkling shores with a cool spritzer in hand. In short, she's the perfect ship to explore the wonders of the region. With so many exciting adventures on ship and on shore, Avia offers the best of all worlds. On board, we celebrate the region in our drinking and dining experiences two very important reasons that our guests choose to cruise. Now we're delighted to welcome Shivi Ramatar to our lineup of p and Cruises local food heroes. The fabulous new Queen of Contemporary Caribbean cooking will be bringing her vibrant flavourful recipes to Arvia and will celebrate her passion for the region's cuisine with an exclusive collection of dishes at Taste 360 and The Beach House. Now, Shivy's passionate about bringing the bold flavours, colourful ingredients and joyful style of Caribbean food to new audiences, whilst also adding personal touches that reflect her own journey. Now, what goes hand in hand with dining is, of course, drinking. So let me introduce you to Golden Tide, our sun-drenched rum that will be distilled in the first rum distillery at sea in Anderson's Bar. Now, you can travel the seas with a golden rum that brings together the Caribbean and the British Isles as one. Created exclusively for P&O Cruises in partnership with the Tidal Rum, Golden Tide is an invitation to savour the essence of a golden age spice rum infused with coastal botanicals foraged from both the sea and the shore. This unique blend will be distilled on board Arvia while she sails in the Caribbean and then the recipe will be created on the mainland by the tidal rum. Now sail with Arvia and you can enjoy Golden Tide neat or in expertly crafted cocktails at the bars on board. Or you can even buy a bottle to take home and enjoy whilst reminiscing with your friends and family about your sun-splashed holiday. But if you've ever fancied blending your own rum, here's your chance to give it a try at Anderson's Bar. Now, during this hands-on experience, our Pino Cruises rum expert will show you how to use a variety of blends and infusions to create your own delicious spirit with flavour from the Caribbean and British coasts and beyond. What's even better is you'll take your own bottle of rum away as the ultimate golden memory, perfect for recreating that sun-drenched holiday feeling at home. We will also offer a rum tasting class where you can savour a variety of fine rums at a special tasting. Now our onboard rum expert explains the story behind each one. Garnishes and mixers will be served to perfectly complement each rum and you'll receive an accompanying guide that leads you through this one-of-a-kind tasting journey. Now, doesn't that just sound great? Get me to the Caribbean. Well, here I am. Now, don't I wish. But Arvia's Caribbean itineraries have been created with care to let you explore eight of the region's most idyllic islands. Antigua, Barbados, Curacao and Dominican Republic, which is a maiden call. Martinique, St Kitts, St Lucia and St Martin, each with its own personality and charm. And they have a wealth of activities and attractions to choose from. Some more about those destinations later. There's flexibility to explore the region your way because Arvia offers cruises that range from seven to 22 nights. So you can get a true taster of the Caribbean good life 
or take more time to immerse yourself in the beautiful region. Now, first, let's head to Antigua, which has a beautiful beach for every day of the year. Here you'll find vibrant coral reefs, historical forts, fun-loving locals and tasty barbecue joints. At English Harbour, you'll find lively marina side bars and nearby the UNESCO World Heritage Site, Nelson's Dockyard, named after Admiral Horatio Nelson. Now, the area's original 18th and 19th century fortifications and buildings have been impeccably restored. Some now house restaurants and shops, while the Dockside Museum gives visitors a glimpse of life under British colonial rule. Colourful capital St John's is close to some of Antigua's most popular beaches. Fort James, Galley Bay and Hawkesville are top picks for all of you lounge lizards. More active types can stride up to lookout points or hike lush trails through national parks. Mount Obama, formerly Boggy Peak, was renamed in 2009 in honour of the former US president. And at 402 metres is the highest point on the island. Whilst I was in Antigua, I loved zip lining across the forest and then relaxing on a beautiful beach. Just perfect. Now let's head to Barbados. This welcoming island offers a mix of pristine glamour and rugged natural beauty. Laid back, welcoming and a little bit British, it's got everything you'd hope for in a Caribbean island. The platinum coast to the west is super stylish with immaculate white beaches, exclusive resorts and five star luxury galore. In sharp contrast, the Scotland district on the east coast is a fresh, wild, uncommercial and beautiful thanks to its exposure to the Atlantic. Bathsheba Beach is just one stunning spot. In between, you'll find lush plantations and flower-filled gardens, rum distilleries and museums, plantation houses and colonial architecture and colourful local communities. Then, of course, there's the wonders of the rainforest. You can trek with an expert guide and get close to indigenous wildlife or head up high to skim through the canopy on a thrilling zip wire ride. The capital Bridgetown has a big heart and a rich history with so many UNESCO protected buildings that mark the city's important place in history. With an overnight stop in Barbados, you'll get the chance to immerse yourself in Bayesian nightlife. Go glam with crafted cocktails and fine dining, followed by a ritzy celeb studded club at trendy St Lawrence Gap. Or take it easy with craft beer and an outdoor fish fry before dancing barefoot on the beach till dawn. Choose your night and make it your own. Now I know where I'll be, do you? Now let's head to colourful Curacao, where it's a melting pot of cultures. Up to 50 nationalities merge Caribbean style. Add in lush forests, white sand bays and a desert studded with giant cacti. And this treasure island has adventures aplenty. Now the island's beating heart is UNESCO protected Willemstad with its iconic colourful waterfront. The city's divided into historic quarters with downtowns Punda and Otrabunda either side of the Queen Emma Bridge. In Punda, find local market delicacies such as artisan fudge made with coconut, cashew and peanuts. And you can even try stewed iguana and cactus soup. In historic Otrabanda, see the city's Dutch colonial architecture on a walking tour or take a cultural deep dive at the Cura Hollanda Museum with its collection of slave trade artefacts, pre-Columbian gold and Dutch Caribbean art. The Maritime Museum is also another good spot to soak up the island's seafaring history. But Curacao's beaches and balmy seas are star attractions. You can find secluded spots on Blue Bay Beach or enjoy all of the action like I did on Mambo Beach. In the deep, divers can explore wrecked aircraft, Hell's Corner and Mushroom Forest, while snorkelers can wallow in the crystal waters with colourful fish and coral close to the shore. On land, a cool underground adventure awaits in the 300,000 year old Hato Caves. 
You can also hike the trails along the dramatic northern coastline and with luck spot turtles in their nesting grounds. What a fabulous island. But moving on to the dazzling Dominican Republic, where the island was discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1492. Now, he knew he was on to a good thing. We promptly claimed it for the Spanish crown, thus establishing the first European settlement of the New World. Today, seafarers, though, come in peace and the brutal colonial past has been replaced with a lively mix of historic, cultural and geographical riches. The sprawling capital, Santa Domingo, is full of architectural wonders. In the UNESCO colonial zone, you'll find the New World's first castle, first monastery, first university, and the America's oldest cathedral, 16th century Santa Maria La Mena, with its splendid art collection. Beyond our stunning coastline, island reserves and a lush interior to explore. In the island's national parks, you'll find flora, fauna and five of the Caribbean's highest mountains. But don't miss out the national park with its sulfuric lake, beautiful landscapes and dramatic cave of wonders. Now landing at La Romana, you've got easy access to the DR good life. The surrounded area is a haven for beach lovers, golfers and divers. And finally, Mercado Modelo is also great for arts and crafts, while La Romana City is home to the world's biggest handmade cigar factory. Wherever you go, enjoy the sweet sounds of merengue, rum tipples and fabulous fresh seafood. Now let's head to Magnifique Martinique, a bustling, beautiful blend of cultures. On one side, La Belle France, complete with boulangeries and patank. On the other, the Caribbean with its coconuts and, of course, rum. The south of the island is all fishing villages and fabulous beaches, while the north is dominated by the majestic Mont Pelé, the still active volcano responsible for the devastation of the former capital, Saint-Pierre, in 1902. You can discover more at the museum or take a steep hike up the slopes. Mont Rouge is the starting point for the Route de la Trace, one of the oldest roads on Martinique, which leads you on a glorious meander through the lush interior. Think glossy rainforest, vibrant tropical blooms. It's known as the Island of Flowers for a reason. And banana, pineapple and sugarcane plantations. But don't leave Martinique without visiting a rum distillery and sampling the local tea punch cocktail. Now on to St Kitts with its glorious beaches, charming villages, historic sites and an easy going outlook. St Kitts and Sister Island Nevis have got the lot. The clear waters of this Caribbean nation are perfect for swimming, snorkeling and water sports as the sea temperature rarely dips below 26 degrees. But there's so much more to these friendly isles. Now, I love snorkeling here, but for a slice of history, explore UNESCO World Heritage Site Brimstone Hill Fortress National Park, home to a British military citadel and one of the best preserved forts of its kind. Then hop on board the St Kitts Railway to see the island in style. Built between 1912 and 1926, it originally delivered sugarcane from the fields to the capital. There's an open air observation deck, which is a great way to see the sites of rural St Kitts, including beautiful coastline, villages, farms and sugarcane fields. Elsewhere, you can soak up the island's past at Fairview Great House and Botanical Garden, where you can make and dine on exceptional local cuisine. Romney Manor, home to the Carabelle Batic Works. Wingfield Estate with its sugar plantation ruins and Independence Square. You can alternatively explore St Kitts by bike on trails for all abilities, but for a bit of power pedal, make Mount Lee Amiga your mission. At 1,156 metres, it's the highest point on St Kitts with cracking views. You can, of course, take it easy with a boat trip and a lazy day on Nevis. 
Here you'll find secluded beaches, lush landscapes and a real sense of relaxation. Now let's head to lively St Lucia, one of the Caribbean's most photographed islands. St Lucia wows in every direction. In the upscale north, calm beaches and home comforts abound. In the south, the island's famous volcanic peaks, the Pitons, tower over colourful towns, protected rainforests and stunning waterfalls. You can join a trail and hike up 798 metres, which offers staggering views. Or kick back on Ansi Piton, one of the finest beaches on the island. Blessed with a shallow reef, it's ideal for spotting trumpet fish hiding amongst the coral. Now, chocolate making is big business on this island. Try some for yourself at the restaurant and hotel owned by Hotel Chocolat. In the north, Pigeon Island National Park is home to Carib Caves and Hilltop Military Ruins and legends of St Lucia's founding father, peg-legged pirate Francis Leclerc. Nearby, Rodney Beach is one of the island's livelier enclaves with waterside restaurants, sundowner bars and upscale hotels. It's also home of the Gross Islet's famous Friday night food market. Now, if you time it right, you can join in the raucous open air celebration, feast on barbecue chicken and fish, wash down with a peat on beer and move to the rhythm of reggae pumped from giant speakers. Now, I loved St Lucia. I enjoyed going out on a catamaran to the Pitons. It was a great way to see the island and soak up the sunshine. Finally, let's head to multifaceted St Martin. Two names, two cultures, one magical island. Now, whether you call it St Martin or St Martin depends on where you are. Divided by colonial powers in 1648, the south is the Dutch side, while the north is a French territory. But wherever you find yourself, there's plenty to do and see. Dutch capital Philipsburg is a lively spot. Quaint cobblestone streets, historic churches, fine public buildings and leafy courtyard cafes mix with ritzy malls and fantastic shopping. Head over to Great Bay Beach with its sweep of pure white sand, azure sea, boardwalk eateries and water sports. Nearby, Little Bay Beach is a sheltered spot with great snorkelling. While further east, Mayho Beach promises a unique seaside thrill. As you sunbathe or swim, jet planes roar directly overhead as they prepare to touch down on the runway behind the beach. It's perfect for plane spotting, Caribbean style. To work up an appetite, head out to the ruins of Fort Louis to enjoy the views. But many of the best beaches are in the French sector, among them Swanky Orient Bay or the Saint-Tropez of the St Martin, the family-friendly Friars Bay and charming Grand Case. So what incredible destinations Arvia will offer? I'm sure you'll make those moments that matter with your friends and family on those beautiful islands. But right now, ask yourself, are you a sightseer or an adrenaline seeker? Would you rather go, go, go or take it slow? However you like to travel, you'll find countless ways to spend your days ashore on an Arvia holiday. At every tropical destination she visits, we'll be offering a choice of exciting shore experiences to suit everyone, whatever your age or energy level. With a range of experiences that are brand new to p and cruises and not available on any of our other ships, as well as a host of our popular ones that are always a hit, there's really something for everyone. So you might immerse yourself in an authentic foodie scenes, dive into family activities like kayaking or snorkeling, or a family-friendly guide might show you the best spots to be whisked away for a long day lazing on a lounger at the most amazing beach. But first off, let me just show you a couple of new experiences. How about a fun open-air journey on an eco-friendly electric scooter? You'll climb onto your scooter and then explore the rugged, picturesque northern coastline of St Lucia on an exhilarating open-air adventure. 
Now, this exciting self-drive journey will take you to a host of the island's highlights, whilst you surround yourself with breathtaking panoramas. Now, sites on this open air adventure will include Rodney Bay Marina and the Pigeon Island National Landmark. Now, during your open air adventure, you'll hear captivating stories about the history of the locations that you'll visit. You'll also get a chance to sample some local delights. These custom built iRide scooters have powerful, fully electric motors that are charged by solar power. They're fun and extremely easy to ride with fully automatic gearboxes. Now, if you're comfortable riding a bicycle, you won't have any trouble at handling one of these scooters. Now, another great experience is to capture the spirit of Barbados at a rum distillery and craft ale brewery. Visit the Foursquare Rum Distillery, which is located on a former sugar plantation that dates back to 1720. You'll learn all about the unique processes and state-of-the-art techniques that are used to create their rich styles of rum before a delicious tasting. Just a short drive will take you to the Dread Hop Brewery, a local beer brewery dedicated to creating distinctive handcrafted ales one small batch at a time. Find out about the large selection of ingredients used from around the world to produce a variety of beer styles. Then sample the fantastic brews with snacks. Now, other highlights include a helicopter flight to Montserrat and a jet ski adventure, both in Antigua. An indigenous eyes ecological encounter in the Dominican Republic. And a fascinating sweet honeybee experience. Artists amongst you might be interested in the sip and paint experience or even creating your own batik in St Kitts. Or for those of you wanting to relax, we can take you to an all-inclusive beach resort in the Dominican Republic. Cool off in the swimming pool, play some volleyball or chill out on the private blue sandy beach. You'll dig your toes into the white powdery sand and stretch out on a sunbed with sensational tropical cocktails in hand. Or you can find the shade of a palm tree and enjoy the balmy breeze. A beach towel and a sunbed are included. And there's an open bar for cocktails and drinks during your stay. Take me there right now. So look, we have come to the end of this webinar and I hope you're now dreaming of your perfect Caribbean escape on Arvia. Now, she's the perfect ship to sail on in this beautiful region. And of course, she is the sunshine ship. Every island brings a new experience to make those moments that matter. So however much you choose to do or as little, I'm sure you'll agree what an incredible holiday our guests will have. Thank you for your time.